So much for joining us tonight. Police are still looking for a man they say is impersonating a police officer and making illegal traffic stops here in East Texas. He tells though he's, those he pulls over that he's a Coffee City police officer. KLTV 7's Lorena Rivas spoke to the Coffee City Police Chief to learn more about the suspect and what you should do if you're being pulled over by this person pretending to be an officer. These incidents have happened in Tyler and Coffee City, and the police chief says the impersonator is identifying himself as a Coffee City police officer. Again, here's KLTV 7's Lorena Rivas. It all started when the Coffee City police chief, John J. Portillo, received call asking if one of his officers was doing a traffic stop in Smith County. And uh, all my officers were actually on a uh, medical call. Then he received another call from a mother that an officer in a tan uniform pulled over her son. And was yelling at him for riding his motorcycle in the road. Once they realized it was not one of their own, they started an investigation. Police say the interaction with the fake officer is brief. 10 to 20 second interaction, then he jumps in his car and leaves. The impersonator is described as a white male between 25 to 35 years old, about 5'6", 259 feet tall, and weighs around 160 to 190 pounds. He drives a black Chevy Tahoe with red and blue lights. Police say if you encounter this man, you should. Our suggestion is to dial 911, uh, let them know your location, and hit record on your phone. Coffee police uniforms are not tan and have ways to be identified. Basically, our officers will be wearing a dark navy blue or a black uniform with matching BDUs. Some officers carry what we call an outer carrier, but we will be seen with gray and white patches that say Coffee City PD on them. They have five police vehicles which all have their own type of markings. Some do have ghost riding, which in nighttime, they glow gold. And if you feel unsafe in a traffic stop, put your flashers on, okay, and go drive to a well-lit area like a gas station or somewhere. Call 911 to make sure they're a real officer. As the investigation continues, Chief Portillo has a message to the public. Just be vigilant. Be careful. Like I said, the public safety is, is the most important thing here. Lorena Rivas, Kill TV, 7 News. Coffee City Police have received two reports of a person in a black charger pulling people over. The chief says they can't be certain it's the same person.